All right, welcome back. We're back with this example problem on influence lines for trusses. And, and what we just done was calculate, you know, we're going through, we're filling out this chart. We just calculated uh, so far the internal force at GF when the unit force is at, or unit load is at point A. Then we went to point B and we had the unit force at point B. Uh, and we removed the unit force at A to analyze this. In fact, you know, really what I should do is, is, re is draw these every single time. So, so really, when we had the unit load at, at joint B by itself, uh, we found that the internal force at GF is negative 0.77, or 77% of the unit force. The negative indicates that that member is in compression. So GF is in compression when the unit load is at 20 feet from the left right here minus 0.77 then we now we're here we got to calculate at x equals 40 feet so that means in that case we have the unit force being applied here at 40 feet this will be the unit force for case four right here i'm sorry case three bam case three right here and then and so we got to do the same process calculate re equal uh, reactions using equilibrium equations and then use method of sections to find that force at gf so it's not too different here except that the load is at a different location so if i sum the moments about d equal to zero bam positive like this i would get minus a y times 60 feet plus 1 times 20 feet equals 0. And that just tells me that AY is 1 third. Okay? And that makes sense. It keeps moving across. Okay? So AY equals 1 third. Then I apply the method of sections. And I can use this exact same diagram. Okay? I use this exact same diagram. Um, and here, let me get this diagram for us. Bam! This diagram. File edit. Oh, shoot. Edit. Do I want to get it? Copy. And I want to paste it. Technical difficulty. I should probably edit this, but I probably won't. Oh, this is ghetto. Paste. Yes. All right. There it is. Right here. Woohoo. Okay. So we're back right here. And instead of having the two thirds business, now we have here, this is one-third. This will be one-third when the, when the load is at 40 feet. Okay, this is now one-third. And again, using met, you know, method of sections, we have this section drawn out. And you apply some of the moments about B, as we discussed in part one, positive, like this right here. And the equation is essentially the exact same thing, except this number becomes negative one-third. And so here, this would be minus one third times 20 feet minus NGF times 17.32 feet. And, you know, technically speaking, this negative should be on the outside, but what, whatever, right? And so here, equal to zero, and we get that NGF is minus 0.385 right here. And so if I look over here, I would put minus 0 0.385. And that would be, and I want to remove the load, the moving load here. And then for the last case, my unit load is here. And for the same reason that my, my, uh, my internal force is 0 uh, at GF when the load was at A, it's the same thing as when the load is at D. Okay, so if I, you know, this dy is going to, when, when this is 1 right here, dy is going to be 1. That means these member forces will be each equal to 0, and the rest of the truss doesn't experience any load. So the answer, or the force in member gf, when, when the unit load is at point d, or has moved to d, then this is 0. And, and now I can draw my influence line as my, my load moves from A, B, C to D. I can finally draw this here, and my influence line would look like so. I would have, let's see, I'm gonna, I am going want to draw a nice, clean graph for you. So here, bam, bam. This is X right here. This is at 0. This would be... Uh, the force i'll call this ngf okay so the force or the unit force in gf or percentage of the load right so at at 20 feet at 
40 feet at 60 feet bam look at that it's like first grade or whenever you learn a number line or graph or whatever it is right here at, at zero at when x equals zero the ngf is zero boom and then here when x equals 20 feet ngf is minus 0 0.77 so that's right here right about there and then when i'm at 40 feet that's about half of that so it's right about here and then at 60 feet the force in ngf is, is zero and i draw my line i use blue because i have the choice and bam okay and then this should be a straight line that goes like this and so here this is my in, this blue line is the influence line for the internal force in member gf uh at a due to a moving point load or a unit load Okay, so when my load is at 20 feet here, I should expect it to be at minus 0.77. This right here, that number should be minus 0.385. All right, hopefully you enjoyed that example problem. Let me know if you got any questions and, and always keep on learning structure-free. Chicka, chicka.